Through a lifetime of service in this church, I have learned that it really doesn't matter where one serves. What the Lord cares about is how one serves. The Savior reached out to people just like in his everyday life, and he was very aware of the people that needed help. The whole point of his life was to serve us. So if we can just give like a little portion of our time to service, we're doing exactly what Christ came here to do. The Savior, when he served, it was all so individual. It was all about serving each person by themselves. So how do we become the shepherds? the Lord needs us to become. As with all questions, we can look to our Savior, Jesus Christ, the Good Shepherd. The gospel continues to reach out to so many people and we aren't scheduled anymore. We reach out when we feel prompted. I think that's the difference in ministering. Its purpose is to help others draw closer to Christ and help others feel of His love and to have that sense of unity among all of us and to really just strengthen and lift up each other. If we're willing to put aside our cell phones and put aside everything that everyone else is saying and just try and listen to the Spirit, I know that He will show you someone that needs you and that you'll be able to help someone else in their life in ways that no one else can. Our youth can be some of the strongest shepherds they are, as President Russell M. Nelson said, among the best the Lord has ever sent to this world. They are noble spirits, our finest players who follow the Savior. There's many experiences that invite us to go out and serve others and to just have that started since I was 12 has really prepared me to really take on this assignment from our prophet to minister. I hope those to whom you minister will see you as a friend and realize that in you they have a champion and a confidant, someone who is aware of their circumstances and supports them in their hopes and aspirations. Your sacred ministry and assignment gives you a divine right to inspiration. You can seek that inspiration with confidence. I've had experiences where I have felt messengers being sent to me by the Savior. I've had impressions to call someone that I hadn't spoken to for months because that was the person that I needed to help me with a particular problem. While we minister, it doesn't have to be something really big. I think smaller things are important. Sometimes we think we have to do something grand and heroic to count as serving our neighbors, yet simple acts of service can have profound effects on others as well as on ourselves. Just the smallest everyday things can just change somebody's day. And that's why I just love serving because it can bring a really amazing ripple effect to other people. I think we're learning to be more of a genuine version of ourselves trying to be Christ-like. And so if we just have normal open conversations and let them know that you have a genuine interest in them and you're not just trying to jump through a hoop of, I know you're on my list, I know I need to take care of you. I think we're way beyond that. After all is said and done, True ministering is accomplished one by one with love as the motivation. The value and merit and wonder of sincere ministering is that it truly changes lives. In my own experience, it's easy for me to want to give service, but it isn't always easy to receive it. And I think that is part of the whole ministering program is to be able to give and receive so that blessings can be had through everyone. We all need ministering in our lives. I need a friend, and I'm pretty sure somebody else needs a friend too. There's no better feeling. And so having the opportunity to minister and be able to do that for other people, it's really amazing to think about that. What a great way to prepare to be missionaries, going out and teaching families and thinking about others and then trying to be like the Savior here ministering, that's the Savior. And that's what we want our kids to be like when we send them out of our homes. Serving people will make you feel so much better about yourself because you know you made someone's day and you know you helped something in their life. I personally will be depending on the Savior a lot because I know that through Him, I can definitely help make an impact. And I am just His hands. And with every ministering assignment, there's been thought put into it. And that definitely already helps me just have faith that I know that it's what I'm supposed to be doing. And that definitely motivates me to want to serve them. Letting people into our lives 
is allowing the Savior into our lives. It's his hands that reach forward and he knows what we need and he is able to use those people to touch our hearts and it fills your soul. You will feel the love of God for you and for the person you serve for him. As you help children of God in their troubles, your own troubles will seem lighter. Your faith and your hope will be strengthened. When the day comes that we will kneel at the feet of our beloved Savior, having nourished his flock, I pray we can answer as did Peter. Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. These thy sheep are loved. They are safe and they are 